I didn't end up at UM by choice. So this is kind of what you're saying. You know, I was messing around on my SAT, wasn't, hadn't passed it yet, blah, 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 blah. And I got to a point to where I just locked in and I settled in, but I didn't have a scholarship. You know, so I walked into the Florida State, long story short, uh, Chuck Amato, who became NC State head coach for a long time. Derrick Brooks was playing at the time. He looked at me and basically said, look, we love you. We want you to come to Florida State. I'm like, okay, wow, I love to come to Florida State, you know, make it out of the hood. You know how it is out of the hood, you got to get out of the hood. You know, so I'm like, I would love to come to Florida State, you know, and he told me, he was like, uh, you know, but, you know, you're kind of small, you know, so we want to give you two years to develop, put some weight on you, and by your junior year, you'll be ready to play. And I basically just stood up and shook his hand, and I said, thank you, but no thank you. I said, how you know I'm not better than Derrick Brooks right now? So I shook his hand, I walked out. Man, I got back to campus, and my coach lost it. He was like, you done threw away your career, da 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 And didn't realize that, and this is what, this is something very important to stick with the rest of your life. I don't care when you step on your football field or your practice field, somebody is always watching you. You don't never know who it is. But somebody is always watching you to see what makes you different. And my last high school game I played in, I played against the number one recruit in the nation, which is Jamie German from Fort Myers at the time. The University of Miami, which was Dennis Erickson, and the offensive coordinator, which was Art Keogh, came to see their recruit because Jamie had already committed to Miami. That was my last high school game I ever played in. I lost that game. We lost that game bad, actually. But I had an incredible game, my effort. I just, man, I was everywhere. Doom, 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 doom. And I broke down in that game and never knew what would happen from that, you see? So I started having to make decisions like you're talking about, go to a lower school, had to start looking into, you know, division two options, like, you know, okay, I ain't got no scholarship on the table. Four days before signing day, four days before signing day, the, their, their recruit, their linebacker, blew out his knee riding a four-wheeler. Dennis Erickson called me four days before signing day and the University of Miami gave me their scholarship. And that's how I ended up in Miami. You know, so it wasn't that I was this better athlete or I had this, no, it was just that my effort and what I showed on film paid off. So I, so I tell people all the time about your journey. You know, don't dictate your journey. Just be on the right path of your journey. Because your journey gonna kinda take care of itself. You just gotta be on the right path of your journey. And then if the right people see you, then things take off and you don't even have no control over it. Right place, right time.